This is your acrylic vacuum pressure chamber. And as you can see, it has um, essentially two handles. It has 27 of these thumb screws, which, will, which clamp the lid when you uh, pressurize the chamber. It has a pressure regulator, um, a vent valve, a vacuum valve, and a pressure valve. And of course, of course your um, vacuum gauge. So the operation is really simple. What you need to do is um, you need to open this valve to vent any pressure or vacuum that is already in the chamber. And when you are ready to go, um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to close this venting valve. Um, then let's we're going to start with vacuum first. And what you'll need to do is you need to close your pressure valve and only leave your vacuum valve open, okay? Uh, and then also keep in mind that you have your hole, um, that 30 millimeter hole that you requested. Um, this is on that wall over there. So this is it. Uh, when you are pulling vacuum, you will not need these clamps. So you can actually leave them open. Um, you can just leave them open like this. You can leave all the 28, 28 clamps like this open. But for uh, demonstration purposes, I figured I'd start uh, with, with the clamps on. And um, let me go ahead and connect your vacuum pump now and um, we'll pull a vacuum on this one. Okay, so this is the setup with the vacuum pump connected through a, by a reinforced hose into the vacuum valve. And in order to start drawing vacuum on your vacuum chamber, what you have to make sure is that the venting valve is closed and your pressure valve is closed. And only your vacuum valve is open. Also, um, this hole here, right here, this guy also has to be closed. So I have, like I said, a um, we're just using simple, um, uh, tape, masking tape to close this and we will give you this piece um, you can have it for free. Before you turn your pump on two things you always gotta check um, first thing here is your oil level you always want to make sure that you have plenty of oil and we are good we are right within the oil level um, and the second thing make sure that this switch right here is set to 220 which is your voltage um, we have it at 110 because we're powering here at 110 but please make sure that you are at 220 so without further ado all you gotta do is hit the on button and at this point you will see your vacuum rising um, and you don't have to have these clamps on for that because the lid the weight of the lid will provide sufficient uh, compression force onto your O-ring to do that. So that is that. Um, let's get somewhere, let's say 50 tor, and then of course here this is already automatically has been pulled in. So that's already been pulled in. The vacuum has already pulled this against it, so we should be good. Um, let's get it somewhere, let's say 54, or I'm sorry, 50, um, 50 kilopascals. There we go. Or negative 50 kilopascals. Alright, and then what you can do when you reach your desired vacuum level, you can close this valve, you can turn your pump off, and it's going to be a very, very steady vacuum. This um, chamber does not lose much vacuum. So this is gonna be holding it very, very steady for, for a very, very long time. So there it is under vacuum. Now, to release the vacuum so that you can, let's say, pull the lid up, all you have to do is lift this valve right here. 
and it's gonna open it. Okay, all right, let's move on to pressure. Let me show you what you need to do to pressurize this chamber. So here is the um, pressure setup. So when you're going to pressurize your chamber, um, you gotta make sure that all of these are hand tightened. Um, you're not gonna need to hand tighten much because as long as they are all somewhat hand tightened, um, you should be good to go. Um, and you will kind of know, know this, if, you, if they're not too well tightened, uh, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna hear a leak coming when you pressurize. So you essentially just make sure that they're all hand tightened. And the, the way you know it's tightened is because you can see this, this dark line on your, uh, on your O-ring. So you know that there's some compression there, see? Uh, and so essentially to pressurize your chamber also you got to make sure that now remember how we had this piece on the outside now we have it on the inside and that's because now the pressure is going to be pushing this piece against this wall um, really simple and right now we are set to about 2 psi and please don't change that don't go higher um, because this was rated at about one and a half, but during our tests we went up to two and more, but please do not go above two PSI. So, essentially all you gotta do, again, make sure that your venting valve is closed. Make sure that your vacuum valve is now closed. And now all you gotta do is open your pressure valve and you'll notice that the pressure drops and of course that's because now you have pressure going in from here into the chamber and I'm not sure if you can hear it or not but this will slowly rise uh, this will slowly rise until you get to about 2 psi and then of course it'll stop and let me prove to you that you do have pressure and I'll show you how when I press on this one you can hear that there's air coming out. So you just have to give it some time. So you are at about two PSI. To release the pressure, all you'll have to do is open, here we go. and the pressure is released. Thank you very much and um, contact us if you have any questions. Bye.